Hello, this is Agriculture Research Council of Nigerian Television. And the program is Aqua Farming. Aqua Farming is a program brought to you by Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria to bring to you all that has to do with aquatic animals for human consumption. And on that note, we are here at the prestigious Kado Fish Market in the capital city of Nigeria, where we are going to be looking at the processes in which fish gets to your homes and, of course, gets to your ports. And today we'll be looking at the holistic aspect of it, from the fingerlings aspect down to how they are grown, down to the fish feeds, and down, of course, to how they are being smoked and transported to various states in Nigeria. Stay with us. My name is Joshua Ishaya. I'm your host. And of course, on that note, let's go into the market. I think uh, from the archery, normally we normally sort out for bull stock that hatch the fish. So when we hatch the fish, after four weeks, we brought it out that they are ready for for fingerlings after six weeks. And by that six weeks, we take them from the archery, from the farm to the market, the Kado fish market, where we are distributing it to the to the people that normally stock them for table size. I think uh, this market particularly, we serve about uh, five states in North Central. One from Nasarawa, Niger, Kogi, Kaduna, Benue, and including the FCT. That is the five states that normally come to the market to come and collect those fishes. And that is all this all these states. The market, the Kado fish market service all those five states. Both the fish and the feed. And from the fingerlings, from the fingerlings we started with a, a feed. A feed we call is zero is zero point uh, is zero point five 0.8, 1.2 for fingerlings. From from a standard juvenile, we have a 2 mm that we use to feed them. And most time, the fish take they, they grow out from fingerlings. We have a, the one that will grow for four months, which is a normal juvenile. We have standard juvenile that will grow for four months. While we have a jumbo, and the jumbo we have two type. We have the one that grow for three months also, where we have the one that grow for four months. I think that is the, the size that we normally give out. And not only that, the fish have different species. Uh, we have a Dutch Claras, we have normal Dutch, and we have a hybrid, and we also have a pure Etro, Brancus. That one, we bring that one from river, direct. Yeah, but the other one I mentioned earlier, we hatch those ones in our various uh, farms and bring them to the market. Different from the different uh, the Dutch, the Dutch and the Cl and the Claras, they are the same family. Why the hybrid? We take the hybrid from the hetero because we buy the bull stock of hetero, which is the normal pure fish from the river. But both of them are cut. We take them. Why we take the female or the male bull stock from the from the Clara? We join them together and crossbreed them. This one gave us the hybrid. Why the hybrid different from the other fishes is it? the hybrid since is from the Etro family. It grow and is bigger than any other fish because the grow is unlimited. It doesn't have the lim limitation of growth. If you keep them for even 10 years, that is the way they will be growing. But the claras have the limitation of growth, which is the growth cannot pass nine months. So, 
and but for the hybrid and hetero can be growing as human being they don't have any limitation of growth i think uh, that is a difference between the hybrid and grow. and the hybrid we don't normally train them in uh, either concrete pond or inside rubber or tarpaulin normally we normally grow them inside the earthy pond because that is where they can survive they don't normally survive on rubber or or the tarpaulin so basically we normally treat them in the earthy pond that is for the hybrid and the entrobanquis for the claras you can treat them in any way you can put them in a rubber like a like a tank you can put them in concrete pond you can also put them in tarpaulin pond i think that is the those one can survive anywhere. Normally from fingerlings, we change their feet from fryers. We change their feet in two, two weeks. But when they are in fingerlings, we change their feet from fingerlings to post fingerlings in one, one month. From uh, post fingerlings, we enter standard juvenile. We change again. It's every month that we change the feet. They are, because the feet, they are different MM. What we have we defeat start from 0.2, we have 0.5, we have 0.7, we have 0.8, we have 1 mm. From 1 mm, we have 1.8, we have 1.5, we have 2 mm, we have 3, we have 4, we have 6, we have 8, we have 9. 9 is the, is the, is the highest, which is for the where you want to sell. Then those 9 mm is because it's purely for carbohydrate that can give the fish weight. Because most of the people that do the business, they say they sell their fish with scale. So that they will likely they would like them to have a, a robust weight so that they can give them what they want. to the super jumbo okay. that can take from six weeks to twelve to fourteen weeks. Okay. So then we have this other one. It's a different different food too. They are all the same, the same size in the one that actually uh, this one we call it echo food. We have the ten we have four men, we have six, we have nine mm. for the for the dough hut. Okay. This one is echo food. And it's three, we have three of it for the same uh, standard journal to standard journal that is going to uh, go to uh, Jumbo. They can take it, they can take the three and four, and they have all the MM from three, four, six, and nine. Then we have another product too that they call a uh, call a better feed. We also have. The two mm, the three, four, six, and nine. All these feet that is here, they are for they are from Nigeria here. They are locally made. So what's the difference between the local feed and the the local feed? The local feed is Nigeria made. Why the the foreign one? The foreign one have more protein content inside. Most of the 41, they are all 40. We have Copens, which is 41 from Poland, that have 52% protein. protein content. Well, we have the same Alakwa, which is foreign for Poland. And that one to have, the we have uh, 45%. Why most of our Nigerian food here 
because of the insecurity and so other things, those materials that we need to get for the for the sake to continue the foreign work, because of the insecurity, our Nigeria people cannot get it. And now we have to reduce that protein content to some 42, some 40, some 39, some 38. Mostly the the system of uh, six and uh, nine of uh, Nigeria, Nigeria from the outer market. When you take it to lab, it is much better. So I think uh, the 41 have more high protein content. But as from as from last year, I think because of the, the cost of the production and the cost of the cost of the, the foreign food, Nigeria would have improved into the their product too. They are now getting 42, between 42 and 45. The same what the following one are giving us. Okay, so I think six that uh, six numbers here, we are getting results. This one, is, this one we call it uh, anti-stress, which is for fish. Maybe you want to transport fish from here to Kaduna, and uh, you don't want that to be stressed. Then you put in the stress jelly can. Then you can put, you can mix it inside the water and pour it inside the jerry can and transport them. Then this one, we call it molasses, which is booster for the fish. You mix it with the food of the fish and pour it inside the water. It's multivitamin. It makes the fish to eat more and more. Then we have this one, we call a fish cure. Fish cure is because sometimes you have, you see fish, they have wound in their body. Then you mix it in the water and put it inside the fish. It will heal the wound. So we have another one that I call uh, this aquadex. The aquadex, you know, we have fish mostly they have gigs. So those gigs, if you don't want them to have bone, you want flesh to cover it. Then we use the aquadex so that when they are growing, they will not be shocking themselves with the gigs to injure others because of the conjunction of the fish inside the water. Then gigs. Uh, this one too is for anti strex that we normally use. Then this one, we call it antibiotics, which is the feed bautis. Whether the, you see sometimes their body will swallow up, then you use this one, it will digest all those, uh, all those, one. All those drugs that you see here, they are from Nigeria. There's no foreign one because most time we are not using foreign. We use the drugs that we know and then we, we have already used that we know that it can work. Because all those, all those drugs you see, eh, both the, the booster, the antibiotics, the anti-stress, they are all Nigeria made. Uh, different species catfish, tilapia, juminacos, pangasius, the, and the others. Uh, if you can see the market, some fish they are wild fish which broke from river, uh, but the 75 percent is artificial. So uh, we buy from west, uh, southwest. We brought them here, and some from river and Asia. Uh, no type where you cannot see, except it's not a Nigerian fish. So we are selling different type of fish, but now the price is higher, higher, higher. Uh, Almost every month, farmers are increasing the price of fish. Uh, if before, the time they established this cardo fish market, 2004, uh, catfish, we are selling catfish 500 naira, today is 1,007 per kg. So tilapia is uh, 700 today, is 2,000 Naira. 
Our all the price is double, 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 double. Almost every month the price is, is increasing. Uh, uh, now, if you look at the demand, people want to come to the market buy fish, but no money. The one coming from south is artificial from farm. The one coming from north is from wild, from river. So, uh, but 75% of the fish from southwest, Oyo, Ogun, uh, Ondo. Yeah. We are seeing some of, some big, big fish. Where are these ones coming from? Are they from? Uh, from River Niger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to sell some one fish, 700, 800 thousand. So uh, now Giwanrua, they call it Giwanrua lettuce. So Giwanrua, the kg now is 30,500 per kilo. Uh, like Pangasius, Ragonrua, Ragonrua is 2,000 naira per kg. Uh, uh, Asa, Jumunakos, which is uh, 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 3,800 3, per kilogram. Uh, uh, some fish, if those Giwanrua, the giant one, if it's weighing 250 kg or 300, uh, 300 kg, close to 1 billion or 1 billion plus. My name is Mohamed Ibrahim. I'm currently the chairman of Kado Fish Market Traders Association. Kado Fish Market is based in Abuja and uh, situated by Life Camp along Karimo Road. And uh, as you are all aware, Kado Fish Market is a specialized market built by the FCT, FCTA government. Specifically to cater for the protein needs of the FCT residents and its environment. And, uh, it comprises of all kinds selling of all kinds of fish, poultry products, and other agricultural products too. There is no fish that cannot be frozen. All fish, all fish are frozen. But uh, presently, mostly when people say frozen fish. The one that comes to their mind is the titus. That is the one people properly know as ice fish. And that is imported. It's an imported fish. Um, we call it micro, but every other person call it titus. But there are various types of them in the market. And uh, we call it froze catfish. We froze every other fish that is gotten along our rivers and um, along the river Niger, river Bimi and including the southern part of the country which is the sea. We have those fishes from there such as uh, red snapper, shiny nose, barracuda um, and the rest. And we also have catfish that is very ramp rampant these days. Farmers grow them we can froze those one too, so that they should to minimize loss from the farmers. If they cannot dry and they cannot save its life, then we will decide to frozen it so that we can sell it out as frozen product. So those are kind of frozen fish we have presently. There, there, there are important uh, ones. The important ones are the ones that uh, we don't have along our rivers. We don't have within the river Niger, river Benue, or between the coastal line, as along Calabar, Port Harcourt, Lagos, all this. And even if we have them, we don't have them enough. The the ice fish is imported, which is is known as a, the name is scru, uh, scrubia or macre. It's important. We bring those one from the Europe. Then the the other one 
popular one other one we call croca croca fish those ones are from the latin americans so we don't have those ones too in our water even if we have croca it's not of large quantity that can be can be uh, exported or frozen but these ones the scubia the croca the tilapia the herring the uh, the cote all these fish oh these ones are imported that is the one we find that the common how the the common nigerian can afford to buy those days because very now it is very very expensive you cannot even call it a common fish when we are growing up we used to say ice fish is the cheapest fish in the market i can assure you today ice fish is not the cheapest fish in the market there's nothing cheap in our economy these days so those are the fish we imported in into the country then other ones like the catfish we have in, we have enough catfish presently that goes around the, in our markets so we don't import that we don't import fish like red snapper shiny nose tilapia and this we don't import them because we have them within our river and we can farm them you can farm you can farm tilapia but the other ones like uh, shiny nose red snapper barracuda uh, and the rest we don't farm them but we get them along the coastal line so the ones we can farm we farm there the catfish we can farm it the tilapia we can farm it so this we don't import them but we import the croaker the macre the uh, um, what is the other the maybe herring we import those ones then we equally uh, bring in uh, from time to time the tilapia if it's not enough so those are these we do hick the popular you know as pala uh, the fresh one we import those one too so those are the fish we import It's fresh pala. Okay. So these ones are from the uh, Latin American waters. Okay. This is like uh, Argentina and this one. So I think they get them in Europe. And they get them in Europe. This is this is shiny nose. It's not an imported fish. It's from our water okay. along the coastal line. Lagos, Calabar, Puerto Rico, Uruguay. Very good ones. We breed this in Nigeria. We breed it in Nigeria. You can farm it. We call it and import it. Also, these are croca fish. These are croca fish. These are small. You can have bigger one than this. Very big. It's Agricultural Research Council of Nigerian Television, of course, has been the program Aqua Farming, a program that brings to you issues that has to do with all aquatic animals. And so, of course, today on the program, we've been in the Kado Fish Market, where we've taken you to different sections of the market, starting from the fingerlings aspect down to live fish, and of course, we took you to the frozen fish, and we ended it here at the smoked fish department. 
It's been an amazing time with you here. Until some other time, the program Aqua Farming is going to come your way in Agricultural Research Council of Nigerian Television. My name is Joshua Ishaya saying, let's see the other episode.